Hi everyone, it's Maite. How are you today? Um, happy Tuesday. Um, when you guys see this, it'll be Wednesday night, our future executive training. And Kara asked me to take a couple minutes and talk with you a little bit about what's been happening with me. Um, so as most of you know, um, earlier in February, I left my corporate job and I've been uh, doing Zingular full time and some really uh, great things have happened. I had my best month in February, which was really, really cool. Um, so the couple of things that I have done differently, the, the number one thing that I'm going to tell every single one of you is you have to work your business consistently. And when I was doing it part time, I just did not have the drive. I, like I definitely believed in the business model, in the company, in the products, all of that. I've been a product of the product for five years. Um, but for whatever reason, I would always allow all of these distractions um, to get in the way. And there was always something going on and I would work my business really intensely and then I would get overwhelmed and then I'd back off of it. And so the lack of consistency, I think, had a big um, effect on um, the growth of my business. And so since I've been uh, employed full time, I am working my business every single day. Um, I basically take off Sunday and Sunday is really a day to prepare. Um, so that has been the number one thing. And then there's lots of different ways for you to sort of organize how you contact people. And one of the things that I did, um, there were two things actually. One of them was to go through my phone book and write down a list. And I came up with about 250 people that were on my phone list with phone numbers. And I have systematically contacted each and every one of them. And so it's been um, either a phone call, depending on who it is, or a text or a message on Facebook. And basically, it's just a lot of excitement. Hey, it's been so long. I would love to get, um, get in touch with you and talk with you and catch up. When's a good time? And so lots of people haven't responded, but there's been quite a number of people that have responded and I've been able to um, talk with them and let them know what I'm doing. And basically it's what we've been told, it's planting seeds. Like there's just very few of them that have resulted in, you know, a purchase of um, a kit or anything like that, but mostly it's been planting seeds. And what has happened is that I've been doing this now since September more consistently. And so it all just came together in February. I had just a number of people that had been plugged into onlookers that I had been following up and touching and they all sort of came to fruition in February. Um, the other thing that I'm doing um, is that I'm filling out a daily checklist where I am um, friending five new people, and those are five people on Facebook that were friends, but I've never had a conversation with and I don't really know. So I've been just contacting them through Messenger, looking at their um, pages and connecting with them somehow. Um, also following up with people and adding them to the results page. And then again, looking through all the people that I've been in contact with, if there's been anybody who's shown interest, you know, obviously contacting them and following up with them. And so I do a sheet every single day that lists who I, who's new, who are folks that I'm, you know, touching one more time or the second time or the third time, and who are the people that I'm following up with. Not to mention trying to stay on top of past customers, people who are doing on an eight day. So it's really important to, to, to take the time, and I don't know if you guys use a planner or your phone, but an hour or two to really focus on making that happen. And so I've been doing that consistently and that's uh, made quite the difference. So I hope that that was helpful to you.